Hey, so like, mate, don't mind me. I'm just going to talk about copper for a little bit. Other than its electrical properties that make it quite useful, it has another skill. Turning green. I wonder how many people know that the Statue of Liberty is made of copper, and it's just turned green over time. It's what copper does. And now pivot to symbols, mate. So like the original Zildjian recipe bronze. Well, mate, she's got 80% copper in that. So in some instances, symbols do like to turn green too. I mean, here's a crash symbol, which I think is from like the mid 90s. I bought this for 200 bucks off some old mate at university. This is regular kind of wear looking. Symbols start out really shiny. They literally look like gold, but this is like a traditional well kept and looked after symbol. Well, uh, just to kick us off, mate, check out this gross looking Sabian. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's turned green. <laughs> oh, yuck, the greasy finger marks all over, it. even on the back. That's how you know it's finger marks. Well, once symbols start getting a coating like this on them, it really affects the sound. It's like, you know, symbols wobble to make noise, especially these thin ones. So that's gonna kind of stifle it a bit. So let's have a listen. It's not as bonky as brass symbols that I've heard, but considering that it is a thin B20 Sabian, <laughs> you can feel that it's really lost a lot of its shimmer and that sort of thing. But mate, you can't buy filth like this. It's like the Statue of Liberty, hey? Like, you just gotta wait. This thing's like 40 years old. I mean, look at this poo stain. Hey, you can't buy that. But what if you did buy it? Well, check out this prototype Bosphorus ride. Mate, she's green. <laughs> and you can see that they've done this from the factory. They've put something on it. I know you can make pennies turn green. You know, they're made out of copper, use vinegar and whatnot. But clearly they've brushed it down with something. You can see how it's all kind of pulled up in the hammer marks and stuff. It looks stinking awesome. I love how this looks. It's a 22, which is my favorite size. Nice big symbol. And check out the weight, 1900 grams. This is a feather light symbol. I mean, this is like paper thin. Boy, does she wobble. So normally with giant paper thin handmade symbols, they tend to be wild sounding, just overtones all over the place, just a big roar of noise. Mate, the filth that's sitting on top of this thing just subdues it perfectly, where Gosh, it opens up awesome as a crash cymbal. One thing I love about handmade cymbals is just that complex bell sound. It's just brilliant for Latin grooves. <laughs> And just because most people are going to use a symbol like this for jazz, it's a giant, paper-thin, crash-sounding guy. Of course you could do breakdowns with it. But of course, it'd do the jazz just... Mint. It's even got the signature of the person who made this thing. And I'm very privileged to be holding like a one of a kind instrument. Like, Bosphorus, this is a prototype? Well, mate, I'm just telling you just to go ahead and start making them. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's awesome. I can't wait to use it in the drum stream. Something with so much stick articulation and opens up as a giant crash. It's just a super fun symbol and it looks beautiful and it's green. <laughs>